Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Dinosaur National Monument. My name is Rebecca Hunt Foster, and I'm the paleontologist here at the monument. And today I'm really excited to tell you about some of the oldest fossils that we found here at Dinosaur National Monument, the trilobites. The rocks I'm wanting to tell you about today come from the Lodore Formation, which is Cambrian in age, about 502 million years old. Just as a reminder, Allosaurus here, he's from rocks that are from about 150 million years old. So these rocks are quite a bit older. Within this rock, we can see both trilobite and brachiopod fossils that are very, very small. But these very small fossils can tell us many things. The rocks found in the Lodore Formation can tell us a lot about the environment where these trilobites and brachiopods were living. We can tell by looking at this rock that it was a shallow marine environment that would have been near ancient paleo shoreline. And we also know that these trilobites that were living in this area would have been feeding on organic remains on the bottom of this ocean floor. And the brachiopods were filter feeders, so they would have been eating things that were drifting through the water. This trace fossil is a cruziana, which is a sediment plowing portable feeding trace of an arthropod, most likely a trilobite. We currently have two research groups that are studying the Cambrian Lodore Formation here at Dinosaur National Monument. These two groups are learning many things. One of the results of their studies is that they know that these Cambrian age rocks can be found all the way over into eastern Nevada. There are many Cambrian age rocks that have been found elsewhere in Utah and have been very well studied. But the rocks here in Dinosaur National Monument are very special because the rocks and the fossils found in those rocks can tell us a lot about what was going on near this paleo shoreline. So these 502 million year old fossils can tell us a lot about what life was like back then. Thanks again for joining us today to learn more about trilobites. We hope you enjoyed this. If you have any comments or suggestions, please feel free to leave those below and we'll see you again next time. Thanks.